hello everyone welcome to the channel so you all know that there are multiple scenarios in the real world uh, where we need to add up days to a date such as uh, calculating the expected delivery date or uh, calculating the due date of a task scheduling up of the follow up task and the payment due date and for all such scenarios we need to add days to a date so today we will learn in this video how we add days to a date in salesforce and we will learn this concept for both lightning as well as a classic component so let's proceed and firstly understand how to add a days to a date in salesforce so in salesforce to add a specific numbers of a days to a date value we use two functions of a salesforce the first one is a date function and another is a day function and we use these function together and the syntax for uh, adding a day to a date in salesforce is given on your screen here is the function now we are going to use this uh, syntax and learn add a day to a date in salesforce lightning with help of a real world scenario example so here i open my salesforce account and by default it is open in a lightning edition but you can see that we are not on the main home page so we have to firstly move to the main setup of the page for this you have to click on this gear icon here we will have a button of a setup setup for the current app click on it it will open a new tab with a, a lightning experience home page okay uh, so after opening it you can see that on the top menu we have a button of a object manager you have to click on this button for getting all the details of the objects that we have in our lightning component now you have to search for the object on which you want to uh, add a day to a date field and in this case i am going to show you the example for the product scenario so i am selecting the product object now after that you have to click on the field and relationships button that is given on the left hand side of your screen under the details section and by clicking it you will redirect to the fields and relationship page and here on the top uh, you have a button with the option new the first button you have to click this button for creating a new field so now it redirect you to the page and it ask you to choose the field type so as we are going to add a numbers of days to a date so it is a formula based thing so for this you have to select the formula as a date type so here i am selecting the radio button next to the formula date type and after that to move to the next stage you have to click on this next button that is located on a top side then it ask you to enter the field label for the formula so in this case i want to calculate the payment due date of the product okay so i add a field label as a payment due date and when you click on this field name it automatically populated the field name on the basis of the field label now by scrolling down it shows you some return types of the formula so as we are going to add a numbers of a days to a date so we need the return type as a date so here i click the check box next to the date and click on the next button to proceed so now it open up the page and ask me to enter the formula so here you have to enter the formula where you add a days to a date so let's add me my formula so here you can see that i enter my formula that calculates the payment due date and here you can see i use the various function of salesforce such as date function year function month function and a day function so i explain you this thing first so here you can see that i first store the date using the date function after that i fetch out the year month and a day using the 
year, month and day function of a sales force. Next here you can see that I add pre as a number of a days that I want to add to this date. So next to check that whether this formula is correct or not, you have to click on this button, check syntax that is given below this advanced formula box. Now you can also add a description, help text and if you want to handle the blank field of the sales force, you can also handle it. By setting all of your details, you have to click on the next button to move ahead. So now by proceeding, it will show you the field level security. And it asks you to set the profiles to whom you which want to whom you want to grant the edit access to this field. And if you not select any field, it uh, this will hidden from the field level security. Okay, so I want to give access to all the profiles. So I click on this visible checkbox, and then I click the next button to proceed. Then it asks you to add the page layout. In this time, you have to select the page layout on which you want to include this field. So here I want to include it on a pro product layout page and by default it is also checked. If it is not, you can check it and click on the save button to save all the settings or you can say for creating the formula for adding a days to a date. So it successfully creates the formula. Now let's check. So here I click on my app launcher. I search for my product item as I apply this formula on my product object. Now I click on the new one. Here I create a product and I need a purchase date so I set to this and click on save and it redirect you to the detail section and here you can see that the purchase date and the payment due date is calculated on basis of this purchase date and the payment due date is after the three days of a purchase date. If my here my purchase date is the 6th of July so my payment date will be calculated as a 9th of July. So with this we have learned to add a days to a date in Salesforce Lightning. So now we will proceed and learn this concept for the Salesforce Classic. So firstly we have to shift to the Classic Edition. So here I am in a Lightning one. So I click on my profile and here I get the option of a switch to a Salesforce Classic. So by clicking on it, it redirect me to the Classic Edition of a Salesforce. Now on the top you have an option of a setup. Click on it and after this you have to scroll down. On the left side you will get a build section. Under it you have a customized drop down field. And from here you have to search for the object to whom you want to add a days to a date. In this case I want to use this leads object. So I click on it and then you have to click on this fields and we want to create a formula field. Now scroll down and here you will get a section of a lead custom fields and relationship and here you will have a button of a new. So click on this new button and we are going to create a new field. So now it asks you to choose the field type. So as we are going to add a days to a date, this is a formula kind of thing. So I am selecting the formula one and click on the next button to proceed to the next step. After this, it asks me to the choose the output type and enter the field label and the field name. So in this scenario, I want to calculate the lead due date. So here I enter my field label click on the field name it automatically populated and as I am adding the days to a date it always return the output as a date form so I am selecting the radio button next to the date field and click on the next button to proceed. Now it moved to the next section and ask me to enter the formula for calculating the lead due date so just give me a second I am entering my formula here so here I enter my formula 
here I use the date function to first save the date in this formula then by using the year month and day function of a salesforce I retrieve the year month and day from the date of the lead that I have entered then to add the number of days to this I include the plus operator and add the numbers of days so in this case I want to get the due date after the one day of the lead start date so I add one to it now to verify that this formula is correct or not I click on this check syntax box if you want to add any description help text or want to handle this blank field you can handle it and after doing all such thing you have to click on the next button to proceed to the next step now it moves to the step number four and ask me to choose the field level security so it basically ask you to select the profiles to which you want to grant the edit access to this field and the field will be hidden from all the profiles if you don't add it to the field level security so in this case i want to add it to all profiles so i click the checkbox next to the visible and click on the next button now it moved to the step number five the last step and so it asked me to choose the page layout uh, that should include this field named as a lead due date okay this field will be added as the last field in the first two column of the section by default and uh, the field will not appear on any page if you not select the page layout for example here we have a four layout of the page for the leads so if you want to add to all you have to check all the boxes and if you want to add on a specific one you have to click on the specific specific page layout so i remain is at a, as so i remain as it is so i remain is so i leave it as it is and move to the next by saving the procedure so this one is our last step so we successfully create the formula for adding the days to a date in salesforce classic also now it's time to check whether it is working or not for this i click on this plus icon to get all the tabs or you can say objects so from here i select the leads and now i show you here i open up my lead click on this edit button so here i enter the lead start date as a today's day here i enter lead start date and now i click on the save button and you can see that it automatically calculates the lead due date here you can see that the start day of the lead is a 25th of a fifth month and the lead due date is a 26th of the fifth month so with this we have successfully learned to add a days to a date in salesforce classic also so if this video was helpful Click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Thanking you for watching and have a great day.